This is the Banana Block, a new settlement established along the Kasawari Road in Lay City. It is one of the fastest growing settlements in the city, with people living as far as the banks of the Bumbu River. Only a few of these people have jobs in the city. However, many generate incomes from betel nut sales and other small businesses. Petty criminals have used this place to attack nearby residents for their shopping bags, mobile phones and other valuables. In September, a young man was attacked and killed by petty criminals along this section of the Kasawari Road. Police have arrested five people, including two females and a teenage boy. Two weeks ago, a 17-year-old boy was killed by petty criminals at the Boundary Road suburb. The perpetrators were from the Sialum compound settlement. An attack on a PMV crew last week at Bumayong has also resulted in PMV buses going on strike in Lay City. On test day, a naked body of a woman was found at the DCA waterfront, presumed to be raped and then murdered. The problem is not only prevalent in Lay. Medang Town has been faced with similar law and order problems. People or authorities responsible uh, uh, to work together to... Uh, address this issue of illegal settlements so people residing on uh, both on state land and uh, customer land. Uh, people are now moving in at their own villa. And Police have blamed it on illegal settlements as the center of own brew production and other illegal means of generating income. Gambling, prostitution and trading of illicit drugs are just some of the many contributing factors. These problems have been ongoing and authorities have to seriously look at addressing them at the community level. Sylvester Gawi, National MTV News, Lay.